Good afternoon. I'm Jade Bullock. So thank you for joining us for your WTXL midday. An arrest is made in the murder of a Thomas County woman. Charlene Stedman was found dead inside her home on Ladybug Lane in Oclockney back in May. Her cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Deputies say that another person in the home found her body and called 911. And we are just learning that Wade Jackson is now being charged with her murder. He's also charged with aggravated assault, armed robbery and burglary. And we will have more for you on this story tonight on your news at five. The search is on for the suspect who killed a man earlier this week at a Tallahassee gas station. 35 year old Antoine Davis was shot and killed Tuesday night around seven at the Marathon gas station. He died at the scene. If you have any information on this shooting, the Tallahassee Police Department is asking you to call them at 891-4200. Yes, I, that, that's, that's, that's sad and uh, pray that deliverance because it's, 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 it's a lot of hate there. Yeah. A third church in Wakola County has been vandalized. A KKK was found spray painted at the Mount Olive Primitive Baptist Church. It marks the third church and a fourth site in Wakola County that's been vandalized. But church members say they are not going to let this gesture break their spirit. They painted over the letters last night. It just was saying that they had uh, some leads, you know, they were uh, working on some tire tracks that were out there. And now for churchgoers, they are remaining optimistic and they hope the vandalism doesn't continue. And as word got out about the new vandalism, many of the community members were already gathered for a meeting hosted by local NAACP leaders at the Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church in Tallahassee. U.S. Attorney Pamela Marsh and members of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement were on hand talking about local issues and how the legal process works when it comes to incidents like in Ferguson, Missouri, where an officer shot and killed an unarmed teenager. I think this is so important and an excellent opportunity for us to start, but not to finish, but to start a really good dialogue about how we can make Tallahassee a better and safer place to live for everyone. And that was Pamela Marsh. The presidents of the NAACP chapters at FAMU and FSU asked for that meeting. And tonight, a prayer vigil is set for tonight, asking the community to come together. That's set for 6.30 p.m. at the New Bridge Hope Missionary Church in Crawfordville. And, of course, we will bring you the very latest on this story, both on air and online at WTXL.TV as it continues to develop. Last night was the final episode of the Jimbo Fisher call-in show for the season and students in attendance got a big surprise. During a commercial break, they asked the audience who was a student. After the students raised their hands and presented their IDs, they were told they were receiving tickets to the FSU versus Oregon game on January 1st in Pasadena. How about that? Max, I would have loved to have been a member of that crowd and also an FSU student yeah. to get my hands on those tickets, but yeah, well, too bad for all? us, right? Yeah, we need to do a couple of things. We had to be students <laughs> and we had to have been there too to get our hands on some of those tickets. Yeah, free tickets all the way to Pasadena. Awesome. Of course, we know Delta allowing us to have free, or not free, but one way. Uh, direct flights all the way over to Pasadena as well. Well, you got to go all the way to California to get in on some warmer stuff because here in the Sunshine State in South Georgia, we're seeing cool weather. The Florida State camera over at Doe Campbell Stadium, courtesy of the Weather Stem Network, showing something a little different today from what we've seen the last couple of cold days. A little more clouds around the region. They didn't stream in an, or a quickly enough overnight to really allow us to get in on any warming trend, and we all got down into the 30s. As we go into the afternoon at your lunch break, talking about temperatures that are still pretty chilly. A few degrees below average for this time of the day. 52 in Tallahassee, 50 in Thomasville, and 47 in Valdosta. Titan radar is dry despite those clouds streaming around the region. May see a few more clouds this afternoon, but I think they are thinning out. We're going to see more sunshine than clouds for the next several hours. There is a little moisture over Louisiana and Texas. The big question is that going to be making its way all the way over here? And if not, when is our next rain threat? We also have a warm up to talk about as well. Temperatures will be rebounding back into the 70s. When will we experience temps like those? We'll have the details coming up. Jade. 
Max, thanks a lot. Now taking a look at your news around the world right now. The CIA is under fire after a scathing Senate report on the agency's torture tactics draws international criticism. Some are now calling for CIA Director John Brennan and other top officials at the agency to resign. With the debate raging over the fallout of the torture report, the White House is staying on the sidelines. Press Secretary John Ernest refused to weigh in on whether CIA officials should be trying for interrogation tactics. The president President himself has described as torture, but some political figures feel that President Obama needs to clean house. The president needs to purge his administration of high level officials who are instrumental to the development and running of this program. For Director Brennan, that means resigning. Now, the Justice Department says the federal prosecutors who looked into the program won't be launching a new investigation based on the report from the Senate Intelligence Committee's Democratic Chair Dianne Feinstein. The Defense Ministry in Afghanistan says five soldiers died in an attack in Kabul this morning. A suicide bomber detonated an explosion near a bus the soldiers were traveling in. The ministry says 12 others were wounded. The Taliban is claiming responsibility. An unprecedented package of measures to help in online child abuse is expected to be announced today by the Prime Minister at the UK government's hashtag We Protect Children Online Summit in London. Officials from more than 50 counties, 26 leading technology companies, and 10 governmental agencies are taking part in that two-day summit. The Prime Minister will speak and announce a new joint effort to tackle the worst cases of child sexual exploitation online. Now taking a look at your money news this noon. McDonald's is changing up its menu. The fast food giant says it plans to trim eight items from the menu next month. Instead of offering four different kinds of quarter pounders, it will only offer one. Now it's also cutting down the number of premium chicken sandwiches and wraps that it offers. McDonald's will also reduce the number of extra value meals it has from 16 to 11. Delta Airlines is now splitting its aircraft into five classes and starting in March, Delta will begin offering three main cabin options and two high end options at the low end of the spectrum is basic economy. The bare bones coach fares for more money. You can upgrade to options that include seat selection and dedicated overhead bin space. Delta has not announced the price differences and in your entertainment news, another day, another major crisis for Sony. Internal emails reportedly hacked and leaked claim to show a top producer criticizing Angelina Jolie's talent and ego employees bashing Adam Sandler's movies and a talent manager flattering Leonardo DiCaprio trying to woo him into playing a part in a major motion picture. This after hackers already leaked copies of films like Annie and Brad Pitt's Fury. The FBI is still investigating who's behind this cyber war and whether it could be North Korea's retaliation for the upcoming Sony movie, The Interview, and its plot to assassinate Kim Jong-un. So far, Sony is losing millions. Sony definitely can bounce back from this. It's going to take time. It's not going to just take months. It may take years. Hackers are calling themselves the Guardians of Peace, also reportedly accessing phone numbers, email addresses for directors and actors, even social security numbers and celebrities have used to protect their privacy. And nominations for the 72nd annual Golden Globes have been announced. ABC's Viola Davis is nominated for her role in a television drama for the hit series, How to Get Away with Murder as well as Claire Danes for Homeland. To check out the full list of nominations, just visit our website, WTXL.TV. And still to come here on at WTXL Midday, some very special guests are in our studios right now to talk about a special event that will support a great organization in Tallahassee. We have the details coming up.